All right, Alex. Uh, I want you to look at these swings here. This is right before I started throwing live arm. And if you go back and look, you're keeping your front foot much more closed. You're even thinking about it a little bit. And then we start throwing live arm. Okay. And this is why it's so important for you to do that many reps because see what happens? It opens up uh, and it open up, you know, throughout the whole uh, the whole round. And uh, you'll see too when you fall back on your heels. That just lets me know that you've got weight on the back side of your body you know it's like you know watch you can watch yourself just about every time uh, sometimes you'll follow through and you'll hit through the ball which is good many times though I see you fall back on your on your heels you know we're not even talking about your hands right now and what they're doing uh, we'll get there. I'm more focused right now on what's happening with your with your legs. You'll see also on your load in just a minute. We when I put the camera behind you, you can see my mechanics as the pitcher starts to load. You've got to start picking a time when you're going to start inhaling, and then when you inhale you're actually starting your load. That's when you start your momentum going back. Like right there, you need to be inhaling, turning your femur, your knee toward your your left knee towards your right knee, your right leg. It's kind of like you're creating some torque. Right now, you're just kind of lifting your foot and then going striding forward, opening up your 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 leg. And you'll notice too when you make contact with the baseball many many times your arms are fully extended when you letting the ball go deep what I was saying there you've got to let it travel so that you're not so you're fully stretched out there to hit the ball the other way you gotta let it get deeper towards the catcher you gotta visualize those things as you're practicing your dry swings too Now let's look on this next one. When do you start your movement back? In most cases, when my hand goes back, that's when you start your motion. Stride forward. Okay, your foot needs to be down a little quicker. But you still, when your foot's down, your heel, your heel should be going towards the pitcher right here. See, right now your toes are leading towards the pitcher. I'll explain that more uh, later on. Now I'm going to show you uh, at the very end of this a hitter. He's a left-handed hitter from way back. And I want you to watch and, and see if you can see what his foot is doing. He's definitely not pointing his toe towards the pitcher. He's keeping his front side closed as long as possible. Now he's got a lot of head movement, a lot of movement, but I'm telling you, uh, you know, when his heel hits the ground about right here, see where his hands are. He's not wrapping that bat around his head. You need to look back at this. Uh, this is Babe Ruth. You need to look back at this clip right here and try to mimic this kind of mechanic. And I'll see you next time.